Hey guys, what's going on? It's Convoy here bringing you guys some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay here today. Uh, this is actually the last uh, standard definition Modern Warfare 2 gameplay you guys will see from me. I had to save this gameplay because it was probably my best Modern Warfare 2 gameplay or one of my best. Um, because it was a 49 and 1 uh, team deathmatch. So I know it's not that impressive here because I'm using probably the most overpowered gun in the game or one of the easiest guns to use and that is uh, the UMP 45. Um, it's pretty much a two shot kill for those of you guys um, who you know played Wii and never had Modern Warfare 2. It's a two shot kill pretty much and it's a submachine gun so you can imagine that it's a little bit you know overpowered. I mean um, also, it didn't have any recoil whatsoever. I'm using it here with the red dot sight, but many people just use it with silencer, and it was still very effective. But, I mean, uh, the ACR and this gun are probably the most uh, easiest easiest guns to use in the game, or overpowered, I guess you could say. But I never really used the gun. I just decided to try it out here and get uh, this nice, pretty pretty nice gameplay for you guys. Like I said, it was a 49-1, probably one of my best um, on Modern Warfare 2, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be continuing to do the uh, Andy Ravage, I guess, episode little series. I'm, I love this game. Like, this game is probably one of my favorite Call of Duties, believe it or not, um, because I just, I just love how. I mean, it seems that the weapons in e in this game are pretty strong. Like, no matter what weapon you're using, you're always gonna have a great chance of. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of hard to explain, but I love the shotguns in this game. And I really do enjoy playing it. So, like I said, it will be I will be continuing to do more of those little clip tages or Sandy Ravage fanboy montages and all that kind of stuff. I plan on uh, getting better clips in the future. Um, if you notice, the first two weren't really in Ground War. Uh, Sandy Ravage plays in Ground War, and it's easier to get clips there because it's nine versus nine. Um, but you know, I've been playing a little bit more of Domination, and I've been kind of getting into the spawn trap. Um, it seems like in Wii, when, you, when you're when you playing Domination, you can't really spawn trap as efficiently. I mean, in Wii, you, there, there is set spawns. If you're holding like A and B, obviously they're going to spawn near C. Um, but here, it's pretty much, you know, lock on spawns. Like, pretty much you're guaranteed, for the most part, um, to spawn at that spot. Like, there's no chance of spawning ar around the other side like there is in Wii. But, um, that's besides the point, guys. I just wanted to get that out of the way. I want to let you know a few things on that. Um, I actually wanted to take this commentary here to talk about family, and I know it's a little bit different than I usually do because um, for me, I personally don't consider myself a good commentator yet. I'm still kind of growing into trying to do topics. I'm trying to um, expand out that way, I guess you can say, uh, because I never really do topics, and for the future, you know, I want to do better commentaries with topics and all that kind of stuff. Usually I just ramble on for a certain amount of time and all that kind of stuff. You probably, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But I wanted to talk about Family Day because a few weeks, um, not a few weeks ago, last week um, and two weeks ago, uh, we actually, I actually saw um, my dad's side of the family for the first time in about a year. Uh, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, and all that kind of stuff. And we usually don't see them for a very long time, a very long portion of the year. And it's kind of unfortunate how it works out, but... Pretty much, um, like I said, the only reason why we saw them these two times was because of the graduation parties. I have two twin cousins who graduated from high school, and I have a smaller, uh, he's not really a cousin, but he was, it, it's, a, it's a long story, but my aunt and uncle kind of take care of him because his parents aren't really, um, I guess you can say, reliable or responsible, or I don't really know the story behind it, but basically what it is is he graduated from eighth grade so we went to his party and the following week was my two twin cousins party and it was great seeing them i mean i, I love you know obviously i love seeing my you know dad's side of the family although we rarely get to see them and it's kind of unfortunate like i said how, how that works out but pretty much the reason why we are kind of separated is is pretty much unknown to me i mean um we you know, when we were younger, we, we used to see each other a lot more, like, but now it seems like we only see each other during the holidays or special occasions, like I said, with uh, graduation and sometimes even Christmas. There's Christmas parties and stuff and birthday parties, all that kind of stuff. But um, for the most part, we go a very long time without seeing them, and it's kind of unfortunate how it works out. And it kind of got me thinking, like, the other day um, when I was actually seeing these guys, um, I was like, you know, is this how kind of maybe, you know, you, you, you'll meet someone in life with, like, your last name or something, and then you'll find out you're related some somehow later. I kind of got me thinking like that. Um, that's how families kind of get separated and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
like they don't even know they're related a few generations down the line and I don't really want that to happen with my dad's side of the family and like I don't really know like why I said we were we don't really see that much of them at all but I don't know it's kind of confusing and like I said it's it's really bad because I would love to see them more I mean I, I see my mom's side of the family a lot more like pretty much every week I see all my aunts and uncles on their side pretty much and yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I I don't really like having a family like this, this size of my dad's side. I mean, he has seven brothers or something, or seven siblings, not brothers, but um, we rarely get to see them. I don't know, guys. It's just something I wanted to put out there and see if you guys could relate to it. Um, do you have any family members out there that you never get to see? I mean, it kind of sucks, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Let me know if you have any more topic I ideas or if you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have more time on your hands and want to watch one of my most recent videos, you can do so by clicking the videos on screen. Other than that guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.